Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, are there any exceptions to the warrant requirement? Yes, there are plenty of exceptions to the warrant requirement. In fact, the Fourth Amendment itself delineates three absolute requirements for any warrant to be valid. First, there's specificity or particularity. Second, there's probable cause or the mandatory presentation of sworn facts establishing a legal basis for the warrant that's being sought. And third, there's an impartial check valve or the requirement that an unbiased judge or magistrate make the call. That said, we've got to remember that the fourth became law in the late 18th century, and since then, time has ticked. Our country has expanded. Our population has exploded. The 18th century turned into the 19th, and technological advancements such as the telegraph in 1836, the telephone in 1876, the camera in 1888, and the automobile in 1895 were game changers. As the 19th century turned into the 20th, we continued to blossom, be it geographically, in terms of population, and also with more rapid advancements in terms of technology. More people, more goods, and more access, coupled with more impressive innovations, such as the airplane in 1903 or the silicon chip in 1961, saw corresponding innovation in crimes and criminality, resulting in a need for more law enforcement and for more courts. From a strictly mathematical point of view, in the past 230 years, the number of laws, people, and crimes have dramatically risen, and so too have the number of searches and seizures. It would be impossible for the police to seek a warrant each and every time that they want to detain someone. For example, every time they conduct a routine traffic stop, or if they want to effectuate any arrest, or when they want to do a protective sweep or a Terry to stop, much less a full-blown search. So, as our country has grown, our courts have interpreted our Constitution to fit the times, and a nice chunk of that interpretation has been to carve out a variety of exceptions to the Fourth Amendment's warrant requirement. That said, I'm going to rattle off the Supreme Court of the United States recognized biggies, and I'm going to do so in alphabetical order. Borders, consent, exigent circumstances, FISA, abandoned property, incident to arrest, inventory, inevitable discovery, motor vehicles, officer safety, plain view, prisons, and schools. Where the facts and circumstances of a given case fall into one of these carved out exceptions, or if they constitute a new exception, then no warrant will be required. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll be putting out some more soon. Thank you.